السلام علیکم ہیلو گائز دس از سلمان ہیئر ود ون نیو ویڈیو آن مائی چینل دس ویڈیو از اباؤٹ کنفیگریشن آف ڈبلو ڈی مائی کلاؤڈ رائٹ ناؤ آئی ڈو ہیو دس فور ٹیرا بائٹ ڈرائیو دیر آر ڈفرنٹ کیپیسٹیز اویلیبل ان مارکیٹ سو یو کین پرچیز اپ ٹو وٹ ایور یور ریکوائرمنٹ از Let's go and set up. So the simplest way is just go to WA, uh, the website that is dedicated for configuring this uh, WD MyCloud web uh, NAS drive. So go to mycloud.com and it will show you this uh, page. So here there are multiple options. So you have to select the model of your dr uh, drive, which one you have. So I have this MyCloud. So let's go to setup. So here you can see this page has changed to files dot mycloud dot com slash setup. So let's go and get started. At this moment, uh, this is searching for our connected device. So let's see how much time it will take to find out. yeah here we go i think we have found this one so this is the first page login page so by default there is no user name and password so just click login now here we can select the language click continue here this is asking us to change uh, password because there is no password for as a uh, default so we have to set up password so for the time being i am keeping it 1234567812345678 let's click next okay never. here we go here we can write the name last name email address whatever you want so for the time being i will click next auto update firmware product improvement program so uh, if you are going to select this uh, first option then it will automatically update the available new firmware whatever is uh, available on their server so product improvement program what is this this will send some usage details or some uh, errors that uh, occur while we are going to configure while we are using while this drive is on so if you want to select yes it's up to you i will leave it yes okay click next finish and that's it here we go so definitely we are going to select this privacy okay so now you can see that this is showing us uh, the interface of our nas drive so right now there are multiple things that we can see here this is network av activity graph and this is ram this is cpu and if i click here it will show me each and everything so processes 56 network memory and cpu okay you can click here and it will show you everything what's going on on your drive here we go i'm going to close it so right now the free space is 3.92 terabyte there is no cloud access no cloud device connected to this uh, hard drive users are one and application there are four applications that are right now connected with this drive so uh, this is health health of the device and here we can see there is a firmware update i think so unable to connect to the firmware for you please check network connection and try again so uh, you can check on the, um, their website so if there is any firmware available you can update it manually in case if your drive is not accessing internet but i don't know why this is not accessing because this drive is right now connected with internet okay so uh, let's go to next page here is a user we can create multiple users here for example let's suppose create one 
com tricks okay i will leave it password one two three four five six seven eight one two three four six seven eight i think there is some mistake in password okay now here we go yeah now this user is created and okay uh, after creation the user so there is by default one folder created for this particular user that can be by default accessed by this uh, user that we have created right now so there are other areas also that we can set up that we can configure so we can also grant access to some other areas that are available on our drive right now there is one folder created with the same name comtrix so we to have read and write permission if we click this then i have only read only permission and if i click deny access then i do not have any kind of access on this folder so i will keep it read and write so that i can read data and write data to this folder okay here we go with the shares these are the by default folders right now this folder is created when we created the new user here we can create also one more folder if you want so um, i will name it uh, data okay data that's it here is description my data okay so i will click it and here here we go this is our folder created so we can access this and read and write data on this folder but only the user can write read and write data who have access to this folder so this is not public close this because i don't want anyone to use this folder so media serving if you want to serve this uh, folder as a dlna uh, service so then you can click on and off then it can be accessed uh, like a media server so i will keep it off because i am not going to use this for that purpose ftp access so i need to configure this ftp access because this is right now disabled and uh, fs so what is this the retro file system is protected that allows user to access files over network common with uh, unix linux and more version of macos so i will it also this off so right now i have created this data folder and you can see there are two users being displayed here if i don't want to allow anyone to access so i will keep a deny access if i want to grant admin user to read and write access then i can select here and i also want to give comtrix read and write access so i have selected read and write permission for these two users okay so let's go to the next here we have different uh, services that are available here you can see the applications so right now this drive is acting as a dlna media server itunes it can also be connected over here http downloads save point migration save point backup created with my cloud generation one this is some what other thing that i do not have right now configured and i do not have this setup so go to my cloud my cloud access so this is right now ready and i have to sign up so when i click sign up then definitely this will ask me new email so i will enter the email then it will give me some code and then definitely i will complete the configuration here after this i can also access this drive over uh, internet so what i need to do to access this drive i need to install this uh, wd my cloud uh, application on my android phone or apple phone uh, iphone or whatever device you have on my computer also so then i can read and write data over internet wherever i am here by allowing this uh, cloud access then we can only access this drive over internet this is backup usb backups in uh, there is one port uh, behind this uh, nas drive 
uh, to connect USB so if we have connected USB and we want to take backup of the full USB so we can create here yeah remote backup in case if you do not have uh, data backup system in your network then you can use this remote backup internal backup backup content from one store location to another within your my cloud system so this other all these options are this remote backup and internal backup these are only to be used with wd my cloud systems so not useful right now for me let's go to the setting here we have general setting this is a device name wd my cloud this is serial number and this is a language clock everything that we need to access this is cloud access if we want to give cloud access or not so energy saver LED on off drive sleep how many times after drive drive sleep and this is the web time uh, uh, out in case you uh, have logged in this console to configure this drive and there is five minutes of inactivity and there is no activity uh, within five minutes so it will automatically log off this is time machine this is time machine backup for mac uh, this page displays all the information about our network so right now the mac address ip address and dns etc etc whatever things are here you can see you can also configure the static ip address so no need because just uh, leave it for the automatic so here I can allow this for the FTP access SSH so for the password for the SSH so you can uh, uh, click and create new password for here only for this SSH access so I will keep both off Windows services and uh, port forwarding right now there is no any kind of port forwarding done and I do not need this media media server DLNA iTunes utilities these are some system diagnostics uh, this is a quick test system test logs you can see the logs here these are all uh, Logs. Uh, uh, hey, this restore to default option. Uh, this is used to make drive on, on the previous factory settings. So system only and quick restore and full restore. Full restore. Uh, full restore. Definitely, it takes too much time because I have already tried this. System only, quick restore. These are the much more faster ways to restore. Um, data sorry to restore the drive to the factory setting system configuration if you have some system configuration done before and you just wanna save so just click save configuration file it will create a backup file so device maintenance reboot if you want to reboot the device this is uptime device uptime 26 days scan disk you can scan the disk also format the disk also whatever you want okay here we go for the notifications it can send you notification on your registered email when you create this uh, wd nest drive setup so you can create it whatever you want firmware update so we will select here to check firmware update and right now it's again displaying message that it cannot connect so leave it so this option by default leave it on auto so automatically check the firmware time so whenever the firmware is available so it will automatically update so in case if you want to uh, make a manual update of the firmware here you can select the file and then you can update the firmware so that's it this is icon to display the USB drive so there is no USB drive connected this is for the notifications and this is getting started wizard once again about health and other things 
this is reboot and log on so so guys these are the options that we can use to configure our wd my cloud dash drive so in next video definitely uh, i will try to cover up all things how to connect with mobile how to connect with computer and how to access this drive over network so stay tuned mm, tell them thank you take care bye bye